Hey YouTube, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life and today I've got another video in our RV living series uh, but this isn't specific to RV living. Uh, it works great in an RV because uh, it's small and compact but I use this, the AeroPress coffee maker, to make my coffee even when we lived in our old house and I will continue to use this once we move into our new house. Um, you can take this, I've taken this hunting, fishing, uh, camping, very simple um, and it produces just a fantastic cup of coffee. I've tried like the French press. Uh, the one thing the French press I didn't like is that after you press it, you'll notice you have all the oils on top of the coffee and that's where the bitterness lies is in the oil. And then, you know, your regular drip coffee makers, uh, Keurig, we had one of those and uh, I'm not a fan of the Keurigs. I don't like the flavor. I don't think you get good fresh coffee with a Keurig. So I used to even roast my own coffee beans uh, when we were in Strathmore and maybe a bit of a coffee snob, but I, I like the good strong flavor, but I don't want any bitterness. Um, I used to use a Bialetti and same thing, it's kind of like an espresso, but the, the way that it works, it, it produces almost a, it makes the coffee bitter, especially when you compare it to something like this. So if you love a good strong coffee, I think you'll just be amazed at the flavor that comes out of these arrow presses. They are adept, about $30 I would say, and um, I had my first one for four years and it did wear out, so I replaced it, but uh, very simple to use and uh, easy to clean up. And I'm gonna show you what comes in them and then how you use them. Stay tuned. All right, so this is what you get with an AeroPress. Uh, basically, the way this coffee maker works is that it's, it's basically like a syringe. You've got your chamber where your coffee and your water go, and then this is like a rubber plunger, and it goes in here, and like I say, it's just like a syringe. You push it through there, and it forces the water through your filters, which are held in this filter holder here, and these are what the filters look like. You do have to buy specific filters for them, but they're really cheap, and I think they come in packs of like, 500 or something so that's a lot of filters for a lot of cups of coffee it does only make one cup of coffee at a time but that might be an issue for some people but for me i am the only coffee drinker um, also comes with a stirring stick paddle thing and then this little thing is just so that you can use it on a small mouthed uh, coffee cup uh, this filter doesn't fit on like travel mugs a lot of travel mugs this is too big so basically once that's on there you can stick this inside your travel mug and then this will go on to there like that so you can fill up travel mugs and stuff like that. So I will go ahead and prep this and show you how it goes. All right, so start out, you assemble your plunger. This is a different way than they recommend doing it, but this is the way that works the best. Uh, what they say to do is actually put your filter in and uh, into your filter holder. I'll grab out a filter here. So they show you do this. This is just kind of threads on. And then they suggest putting this over your cup, putting the coffee in, adding the water, and then putting the plunger on. I don't like it that way. I like to do it a different way, and I'll show you that. What I do is I put the plunger in first, set this up like this, and then just get the coffee of your choice. I use four teaspoons. That makes it fairly strong. And uh, I use the Great Canadian Coffee from a PC brand, either that or like a Tim Hortons roast, because it's a very, a full flavor, but it's not snappy or, or harsh in any way. So basically fill it up like that. I go grab my water. Fill it up with some boiling water, just after it's boiled, let it cool for a minute so you don't get that burnt flavor. And then you use your stir stick this is part of the reason I don't like the other way. I actually like to let the coffee grounds kind of uh, mix in with the water really well. And then add the rest of your water. Just like so. I don't know what these numbers are there for. It doesn't make much sense to me, but put on your filter holder with the filter in it. And then I'm going to put in my travel mug so I'll always be using this but basically now all you do stick this on here flip it upside down and press it in and uh, it actually takes quite a bit of force um, if you don't press hard enough it doesn't do anything but I think that's kind of the point is that you press it and uh, add a lot of pressure to force it through the coffee and then the filter holds all the oils out of the coffee 
and you just get a very strong, uh, good flavor. This is the exact same principle as an espresso machine. It uses high pressure water uh, to force its way through the grounds and uh, it's a very, very flavorful way to get a coffee. Just like that. And you are done. And from here, obviously you can dress it up however you like. Um, I'm just gonna leave this one black. But uh, there you have it, a very simple device. And uh, actually I'm gonna show you how to clean it real quick. Let me reset up the camera. Okay, so when you're done, basically you just pull off your filter cap and uh, the filter always stays on the coffee. Uh, what I'll do is just throw that in the trash and then it depends what, what you wanna do with your grounds. You can save them for your garden, for composting or whatever, but just for the sake of the video, I'll show you. Basically, it just shoots out a little hockey puck of coffee, like that. And then give it a quick rinse. Pull apart, rinse that. And that's basically it. Now, obviously, rinse off your coffee filter holder. And I usually, every once a week, I'll give it a real good wash. But usually, if you just rinse it right away, it stays clean. All right, so there you have it. That is the uh, basics of how to use an AeroPress coffee maker. Um, it's a bit of an odd product because they don't market this thing at all, I don't believe. Um, the, the way that I found out about it is I was doing some video and photography work for... Uh, the Western Canadian Barista Championships and it was a course of a weekend and during that weekend they also had a bunch of different seminars and product demos and classes and one of the classes that they had was actually how to use this thing and then they were demoing it as well. They had no affiliation with the, the manufacturer but they just thought this was an excellent product for a, a simple way to have a really good coffee so I kind of sat in on that, did some video of it, and then they made me a coffee with it, and I thought, you know what, I gotta get one of these. So if you pick one up for yourself, I'm pretty sure you would not be disappointed, and uh, just thought I'd share this with you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, if you have a chance, maybe give it a thumbs up, kind of helps out, and also lets me know uh, what kind of content is interesting to you. Um, there's a lot of stuff I use, but people might not care about it, and if I kind of find out a little bit more what types of videos are interesting to people, then we can tailor it that way and hopefully put as much useful information out there. So anyways, hope you all have a great day. Cheers.